Hello world though, this is Gemini Wolfstar Gaming, it's Anton, and it's time for more The Devil In Me. So last time, we went beyond the wall of reality. Yeah, I joke about that, <laughs> I had to say it that way. Uh, we, we literally went beyond the walls of the faux murder castle and found out a bunch of information and uh it was all very interesting and you know kind of an kind of enlightening and then we got into some very exciting uh action towards the end i mean and not to mention i also last time had a bunch of technical difficulties to where i had to uh, get uh, uh, kind of fancy with my editing, <laughs> um, but yeah, that's how it goes. With that's how it goes. <laughs> to put it simply, but now I I suspect that we're getting towards the end of the game here, so. I am excited to hop right back in. So last time we left off with uh, Jamie and Kate getting into a scuffle with uh, Grantham Dumet, and fortunately I managed to get them to survive and escape. And now apparently we have to go through uh, some kind of maze here. <sighs> Like, uh, Jamie, stay close, will ya? <laughs> it's like, I don't want to get split up again. It's like, that keeps happening to them, and I don't want them to get split up. Oh, God. It's like, <sighs> how much of a maze is this place? I saw something shining. Oh, what do we have here? Oh. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> oh God. Okay. That that got me pretty good, actually. I was like, "Oh, statue," and then ah, bird. Jeez. <laughs> got me good game. Jeez. It's hard. It, it's sometimes hard to get the drop on me with trying to scare me, but th that. That was effective. That was very effective. <laughs> Damn. Uh, just hanging out, Jamie? <laughs> you okay? It's like she she looked uh she looked out of it. It's like am I I feel like I'm going back the way I came. Kind of. Is that a? It's like, I, is there like any secrets for me in this maze? I wonder. <laughs> this is gross. <laughs> gross. God. So I, I feel like I could get easily lost here. I mean, it is a maze after all, like a labyrinth. Yeah. I feel like since they said something that I feel like I'm going the right way. Oh, a rocking horse. Man. The, that that takes me back to a simpler time. Jeez, a couple of nice uh, wicker chairs. Like, is there, is there not going to be like any secrets for me while I'm going along here? Oh my god. 
Where the hell am I going? I see a shiny beyond here. I think I saw a shiny. Like, it, I think it was like a shiny for that... It looks like a piece of paper on the ground over there. How do I get to you? What was that book you lent me? Navigating the Maze of Anxiety? Yeah, well, I could sure use that now. You know, it wasn't about mazes. Yeah, I got that bit. <laughs> Look, oh, hutch. I don't want it to come across as if I thought you had a problem. Just sometimes when I'm going through a shitty time, I just assume that everyone else is, too. I know. Hmm. It was good. You read it? Yeah, yeah. Read all of it, actually. Are you serious? Yeah, I mean, not much of a plot, you know. Not much character development, but some good stuff in there. It helped. Huh. Good. I'm kind of curious now. <laughs> I'm glad. I gave a copy to Charlie, but I don't think he's got round to opening it yet. Hmm. Bunch of uh, mannequin parts here. What do we have here? Looks like a letter. I know he's your son, but I married you for you, not your son. Oh, interesting opening line. Besides, it's your ex-wife's responsibility to stop him from doing stupid things, not mine. Oh, I don't know. I think I'm maybe just depressed already because of this trip. It's not what I had in mind when you said you were talk taking me away to a secret island. I don't care if he if he his, is Harrison Lee, the famous horror fiction writer. Oh. Horror writer, huh? <laughs> right up my alley. You only work for him. You don't have to go on vacation with him, too. Can we... Spend some time, just the two of us, Cecile. There must have been a typo in a... Um... In a clue from before, because I thought it was Cecil. Dear Kurt. I thought it would be easier to write this be down because I get upset when I try to talk to you about it. I'm in distress. You don't... You know I don't get along with Thomas, I just don't get why we have to take him everywhere with us. By your own admission, he is a uh, <laughs> fecking nightmare. I'm not going to say it the way that uh, people normally say it. And it is getting me down having him around all the time. So wh why did it start with the back of the letter? Interesting letters, so the Cecile seemed to be unhappy with uh, with what was uh, going on with uh, her uh, marriage. So I, I, ha I have to see if I uh, missed anything because I it seemed like I did go the right way. Oh, there's something on the ground here. Oh, it's an old ball. Let's see, eighty-one to eighty-six. Not a secret, but an old ball. Like, I, I'm kind of wondering, like, if I get like a hundred of them, maybe a trophy will unlock. <laughs> No. Oh. I guess this maze was a cute garden feature once. <laughs> yeah. So th this is a map of the whole maze, then. And I guess this is the center of it, where I am. God. I feel like I could just spend a bunch of time just... Uh, Wandering on around the maze, seeing if I can find any uh, tr 
Treasure. No. Oh, this is a dead end. This is supposed to be a way out. It's supposed to be? Oh, up there. Right? Come on, you can grab onto that, Kate. Come on. Okay, so I guess we'll go forward here then. Oh, there's an underpass here. Something shining up there. I mean, before I go the, uh, under there. Sir, can I n can I not look closer at the? Oh come on! Really, there's like an invisible wall here. Who's the statue of? Is it? Is it of like Grantham's parents? I mean, if he is, if that is his name, <laughs> I mean, one of my no, one of my theories is that Grantham could be an alias. And that, uh, it, it could, it could very well be that he has a, a real name that goes in line with, uh, the H.H. H. Holmes mythos. God. Where am I going? Oh, hi. Uh, I can't do anything with this. The, <laughs> the lever's missing. Why is the lever missing? I take it Grantham did that. Find the missing electrical switch. Okay, I have to find it, I guess. But, uh, yeah, it's like, the, the theory that I have with Grantham is that he could be a relative of H.H. H. Holmes. That he could very well be a uh, dis like a descendant. And there, okay, up the stairs. Oh, there's the lever. That's what was shining. Oh, and there's buttons for me, too. And a door. That's locked. Okay. Before I pick those up, is there anything over this way? Oh, there's something on the ground. To O ball, another O ball. But oh, up to ninety six. I do wonder what the deal with these O balls is. I mean, are they just strictly a collectible, or is something gonna come out of them? Gimme. I could use that as a weapon. And put that in my back pocket. <laughs> Power up the control box. Kind of a nifty little, uh... 
area. I mean, I feel like you could get like like kids could like use it as like a fort. I am stuck. I am stuck. There we go. Now I'm unstuck. Jeez. Let's see which way was that control box? Here it is. All right. Let there be power. Yeah. Now I have to go mess with the buttons. I take it I have to do this in a certain sequence. Like, but what is the sequence? Uh, I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> I mean, trial and error time, I guess. Oh, that's cool. That turned the, <laughs> the statue on. That was static. What was that static from? A speaker? Huh. Interesting. So the... I guess, uh... I guess it doesn't open this door, but it made a passageway underneath the statue. That's interesting. So like things are things are getting very curious and very 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 interesting. Ah. Uh, X, okay. It's like I couldn't see what the prompt was. It's like time to slowly go down the ladder. It's like the... <laughs> isn't like a Final Fantasy uh, 7 remake or rebirth where you can just slide down the ladder. <laughs> Oh, hey, Jamie, you're already down here. What is this place? I mean, it almost looks like it's like, kind of like a uh, place where they used in like the uh, 30s for like prohibition. It, it, it gives me that kind of feeling. What do we have here? Sushine Killer. Good morning, Chicago. We begin today with some breaking news. Chicago police today confirmed the body of a man found in a fire at an abandoned warehouse in the Fulton River District to be that of missing FBI agent Hector Monday. Monday has been identified hmm. as the shoeshine killer whose recent killing spree struck fear into the hearts of locals in and around Chicago. A spokesperson for Chicago PD confirmed Monday murdered four victims, including yesterday evening police officer Patrick Stanley, a dedicated veteran of 22 years. Oh, wow. The fire was brought under control shortly before 5 a.m. this morning. The body recovered at the scene was burnt beyond recognition, but police identified Damn. Monday from dental records. Wait, burnt beyond recognition? Is it that tr was the charred corpse that Jamie found uh, that uh, moved? Was that supposed to be Officer Stanley? Wow. 
if so. <laughs> Shoeshine killer killed. Chicago police today confirmed that... No, wait. No, I think, I think this is separate from what we just learned. Um, Chicago police today confirmed that the body of a man found in a fire at an abandoned warehouse almost two months ago is that of missing FBI agent Hector Monday. The body was so badly burned that it could only be identified by dental records. The Monday was the subject of an investigation as the main suspect of three murders earlier this year. Until today, the suspect of the linked murders was known only by the media and public as the Shoe Shine Killer. That is such an interesting moniker for a serial killer. Why Shoe Shine? Also, with with Hector Monday um, having like a dual identity of uh, being an FBI agent and a serial killer. I mean, while he only killed like four people, I want to. I almost want to say that he is still around and he's like still killing, but it's been like under the radar. Another oval. And that, and that maybe, maybe, Grantham Dumet is Hector Monday. One hundred and one. Okay, no trophy. <laughs> so I, I do wonder though if there is a trophy for how many I get. It's like, hey, Jamie, you want something to drink? You want to get crunked? <laughs> oh, looks like I can go under there. I think that's... I think that's the only progress. Yeah. Time to crawl. Time to get down on your belly. <laughs> Okay, so there's a ladder I can climb up. Nothing for me to look at it, it seems. Where is this taking us? Back outside. What is it? seriously? What is she using to light her way? I mean, it—it's like in the kind of in the shape of like a compact, but <laughs> but compacts don't have lights, do they? Yeah, it's a very illuminated window. Anything? Oh, who do we have here? Kurt Hall, publicist. Okay, so evidence of another victim. Oh, here's the sundial that I had read about. Cool sundial. Doesn't look like I can mess with the door. I guess there's only one way to go? Jesus. What are those things? Run! Go! Oh, it's like when, when I when I saw when I saw the <laughs> the the mannequins of of him, I'm like one of them has to be the real one. 
it still got it still kind of got me though <laughs> Move your ass! Go! Seriously? Gonna try and grab the axe? He's gonna chop down that door. Uh... Bar 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 barricade, barricade, barricade. Maybe that will hold him off a little bit? Oh, wow! It's like before, uh, their relationship, uh, uh, their relationship together was like really low. Now it bumped way, way up. I mean, I did save Jamie for one. Jamie didn't press the button, saving Kate. And then Kate ch charged into Dumat, knocking him back. It's like, we, our relationship is so much more better. Thank God. It's like, compassionate, defensive, bold, and ambitious. I feel like those are a good combination of qualities to a person. Oh. Chicago PD badge. A bloodstained Chicago police badge. Forgot to read these. A Chicago killer newspaper cutting. Cutting. It's a whole a newspaper. Not a cutting of one. <laughs> a newspaper cutting stating that Hector Monday was found dead. Police confirmed that he was the shoe shine killer. Could have been faked. Could have been faked. <laughs> Just saying. Cut custom mask email. An email thread discussing a custom mask. Someone called Brendan... Brandon Day ordered a mask. Answer phone tape. An answer phone tape from December 1997 asking someone to make an audio recording to make audio recordings when visiting their mother at Twilight Prairie. The message was from the manager of the retirement home where Lucinda Monday lived. It's like this is so much more filled in now. It was like so slow going at first. <laughs> oh! That door at the far end. Uh. Climb. Come on. It's like Jamie. <laughs> Why did she hesitate? No control over that. Oh my god. Maybe I should have gone for the door. Whoop! God, he's quick. Come on. Please don't do this. Especially for someone who just walks. Which is... Pretty much a trope of <laughs> a trope of you know killers in you know horror movies. I mean, Jason Voorhees just walks. Michael Myers just walks around. Uh, those are the only two I can think of. Freddy Krueger does run. He doesn't. He doesn't walk. He runs. <laughs> so it's like. Those are the only two I can think of that actually just walk to their victims. Weak floor. Whoa! Oh god. Is Kate okay? Oh, 
over to Mark now. Find a way out. It's like, oh, <laughs> like I said last time, okay, zero escape. <laughs> Flash my light. Flash my light. <laughs> and that's where he can't where he came out of. Can I actually open the door? Oh, motion light. What I wonder if this might be locked. Damn it. Locked. Find a way into the changing rooms. I mean, it seems like I have to find a key. Uh, nothing on the table. That would be too easy. <laughs> I wonder if there's like an opening for the pool here and the might be something in there for me to use. Oh, looks like I can examine the window here. I see a notice sign. And a fishing net. Can't move very much. I see a mannequin down here. Hoop <laughs> bup. Jeez. That's a real hand. This has to be the key I need. Changing room. Yep. I mean, it certainly looks like a real hand. It doesn't look fake. <laughs> Nothing over here for me. Doesn't look like it. I think there's like some kind of door here. But it looks like it's chained? Yeah. Okay. Trot over to the uh, changing room door. Alright. Use the key. Unlock! Unlock me! Says the door. The mark. <laughs> I'm just being silly now. It's like, put that key in my hole. <laughs> A headless mannequin. Nice. What is it holding? Oh, are, are you giving me a, something to change and do? <laughs> you can't look at anything in here. What was that? What was that? I see blood. I see that blood there. What's that? Can I not go in here? There we go. It's like... What is going on? What is going on behind this door? Hello? Oh, God. What happened here? 
good question. Someone died in here. Wait a minute. So they're kind of kicking myself because I had found I had I had found another um, black framed picture from last video, but I forgot to look at it again when I had to play through what I had already seen. So I forgot to look at it again and it was a it was a premonition of mark like choking in a room that looks an awfully lot which kind of looks like this so i feel like i don't want to linger in there more mannequins I hear something moving. Ugh. It's like, no, 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 no. <laughs> what do we have here? Oh, an, an old ball? Oh no, this is, this is a ring. Harrison and Lewis Lee. June 21st, 2008? Oh, this is an old ring. Ah, no, uh, secrets. Oh, and this is, uh, uh secret numero uno. <laughs> wedding ring. A wedding ring with an engraving belonging to a Harrison or Lewis Lee. Harrison and Lewis were guests at the hotel. They checked in a few weeks before the TV, TV crew arrived. How j it was just a couple of weeks before we arrived? Really? Also, uh, <laughs> gay partners represent here, apparently. Oh, now it stopped moving. This mannequin has most of its limbs gone. <laughs> what? Oh. What? Okay. Things are collapsing. What's going on here? I, I, I. I see something shining. I saw something shining behind here. Broken window. What the hell? What happened here? Seriously. Hello? Can't go through there. I gotta say that this game series has some of the best atmospheric noises. Wait. Oh, hey. Ooh. Spiked Jesus. So, as Mark, you can get spiked on some kind of sharp instrument. I can't tell what it is, though. Huh. 
Okay, so... I saw something shining behind that thing. Yeah, it's like... Uh, yeah, how do I... How do I get to that? Seriously. Can I hop over this? No. I can't seem... Oh, here we go. What? Oh, did you just fall over? <laughs> it's like it, it just it happened while I was still trying to stand up, so it didn't really get me there. Oh, another O ball. Yep. Only gave me a couple more. 101 and went to 103. Whoop. She knows. <laughs> well, I guess through the uh, door with the notice on it. Can I not read the notice? Seriously, what is, like, clanging? Locked? Oh. Yeah, man. Oh. Oh, oh, my God. That could have been bad. It's like I do not want Mark to fall to his death. Or anyone, for that matter. Good old Charlie. Why didn't Mark yell? Find Mark. All right. God, these guys are going through it. I'm sure everyone who's been here has gone through it. I'm finding a lot of old balls all of a sudden. Mark! Hey! Mark! I could use that. Okay, so I can mess with that. Don't look like I can mess with anything else. Um, locked. Okay. That is so weird. I was... We were inside his head. Uh, okay, so how do I... get around that? Ah, here we go. I was wondering if there was a, a, a way around the other side. Okay, so I can climb and I can push. So, I wanna... Is this a fuse box that I can mess with? No. Maybe push it. Push it to this wall?
try that. Oh no wait. Maybe I can I open can I open this from this side? Yes I can. Maybe I don't actually need it here. Maybe I need it somewhere else over in here. Like yeah, I th I think that's it. I think I need to take this out of here. I'm gonna grab you and eat. Push you out here. Thinking r right on the other side of these leaves here. Right here. No? Am I not close enough? It won't go any further. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I see an opening over here. Right here. There we are. Geronimo. <laughs> Bloop. Not a very far drop. But I wanted to say Geronimo all the same. Cannot mess with that. Okay. Okay. I cannot go over this. Okay. Looks like this way then. <laughs> Plop. Jump down. Mark. Hello? I can go into there. Hello? Oh. I saw... I think a dog? That just ran along the top of that tree? Okay, I can climb here. Wait. Another... Another robo? What is the significance of these? Oh, what... Oh, one... Oh. Went up to 110. Okay, so I have a gate right here. No entry. Authorized personnel only. I see a padlock on it. So, back the other way. Um... Now what? <laughs> oh, maybe up here? And then... Whoop! No, 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 no. Get back up there, Charlie. 
And... Uh, oh, shit. Hey, pup. Thought I saw a dog. Is that Connie? Uh, yeah, fucking fetch. <laughs> It's like, fetch what though? You didn't, you didn't throw anything. Here we go. Connie was chased by a dog named Connie. Uh. Okay, so Kate chose to save Jamie on the rooftop. That's what updated. Really bummed that she got killed by... Grantham. Damn you, Grantham. Can't mess with that gate, so... This way. Worth a try. Yeah. If it's powered on. Waste of time. I mean, what else am I supposed to do? Maybe, uh, maybe, uh, jump across here, then, instead? Boop. Oh, here we go. Oh, boy. Um, I feel like this could go horribly wrong. Like, be careful, Charlie. Oh. Ow. Oh. It's me! Mark, what the hell? Charlie? You're alive. With broken ribs. <laughs> Charlie, I, I thought you were dead. I nearly was. I'm sorry for that. I, I thought... How the hell did you make it out here? Yeah, good to see you too, mate. Mm -hmm. I nearly got fried, you know. I know. He almost, tur he almost turned into a uh, charbroiled Charlie. <laughs> That's rather alliterative. We saw it. You saw it? What the hell does that mean? I was asking exactly what it means. The deck. Where are the others? Mark, are they, are they safe? Aaron is dead. What? Dumek killed him. Oh, Jesus Christ. What have I got us into here? You tell me, Charlie. What have you gotten us into? We were all separated trying Please. to get out. Dumet has the entire place rigged with traps. It's like, please, Charlie, tell us what you've gotten us into, especially since I heard his voice on that tape. I mean, e even though that I want confirmation that that was actually, actually him and not like a recording of his voice uh, edited together. It's like, please tell me, Charlie, by all means. Follow right into his game. We have to get out of here. Get back to the ferry. Dumet disabled it. We all agreed we'd head for the lighthouse if we can't signal for help. I don't suppose there's any good news. Actually... <sighs> I never thought I'd say this again. He got his light source back. Huh? It's like, thank you, Mark. Thank you. Hmm. 
boarded up section of the gate there. Looks like through here. Looks like that's where Mark went through. Yep, shimmy. Give me the prompt again. Jesus. Jesus what? Jesus wept? <laughs> to, to quote Hellraiser? <laughs> Do, do, do. What was that sound? It sounded very, uh, rubbery. Looks like this place was go undergoing some construction. Oh, can I go up the ladder? I can. Wait though. What's Mark doing over here? Can we go through can we go through the door? No, it's locked. We have to go up the ladder. I need to find a way up. I like how I like wind up Finding the uh, way to go before I f find the way not to go. Okay, so... Need to go up that way, right? Looks like... <gasps> jump across here and push this uh, off of here? It's like, look down below, <laughs> Mark. And boop. All right, move this over here. Ah. You know, all things considering, um, while Charlie may not, like, Look like he's. I can't. Why can't I go any further? Do, do I need to get on the other side? Uh, as I was saying, while it may not look like Charlie is in the best shape, he is surprisingly fit. You know, with the amount of. Oh, why? Can't I move this further? Do I actually move it over here or what? I do, okay. I mean, with, with the amount of, you know, climbing over stuff and, and climbing smell? and going under stuff, it, Charlie is surprisingly fit. Ugh. What do you smell, Mark? I saw a dog out here. Yeah, I did too. Scared the shit out of me. <laughs> scared him off by panicking, most likely. Clothes? Who's clothes? Who's clothes? Huh. Hmm. 
I saw that uh bear a uh, bearing updated. Uh, oh, uh, Mark told Charlie that he'd seen the dog, too. Then complicit. And, oh, wait. <laughs> uh, Mark was suspicious of Charlie. He wanted to know how Charlie had survived the furnace. Now, what... Through what decision making did I wind up getting that? I do wonder. How's your head? Two victims discovered with heads switched? What? Oh my god. Another gruesome scene was discovered in an abandoned warehouse on the outskirts of Dalton, Georgia. The two victims are believed to be the latest in, in, a, in the homicidal spree of the imaginary killer. <laughs> Alright. Alongside the two victims, FBI agent Monday reportedly counted multiple repurposed body parts at the crime scene that appear to be from past victims. Repurpose body parts, huh? Kind of like a la Frankenstein's monster. Uh, Monday described the macabre animatronics uncovered as deranged creations that are an insult to victims' humanity. I like that. That that that's a great way to put it. DNA is yet to confirm if they are, in fact, the missing body parts of previous victims. Very interesting. Interesting. Quite a find with that. What are these that we're crawling into? I grant them. I feel like there's something much more sinister going on here than than what meets the eye, you know? I mean, sure, yeah, we're dealing with like all the HH Holmes stuff, but I feel like there's something fuck more to it. Quiet. Stay calm. Don't open that too far, Charlie. Yeah, I was expecting this. <sighs> I feel like ever since Manami Dan, I've gotten so much better at the keep calm mechanic. He locked the door, didn't he? Oh. oh. Is that a computer over there that I can examine? Nothing in the corner. Oh, it's a uh, surveillance camera footage. Oh, there's a surveillance camera footage uh, fr uh, fr 
uh, showing all the uh, Grantham uh, mannequins. Hmm. It's like, I wonder why the one's showing that. Oh my god. What? What is he doing? Body bags. He's preserving his kills. Why? Because they're valuable to him. Yeah, it's like all of the his trophies. victims are valuable. Keep sex. Out of commission. Phone. Do you think maybe we're dealing with more than one person? What do you mean? Attending this place, the weird robots, the traps. Could it be just one man? It's one man. One very driven, very disturbed man. I mean, Mark brings up a fair, very fair question. I mean, is it just one man doing all this? Or does he have help? It's like, yeah, you do kind of have to wonder that. I mean, sure, Grantham Dumet is rich and can afford all the uh, necessary building supplies to make his own murder castle. Not to mention his uh, mannequins. But to pull everything off, I feel like he would have to have someone helping him along the way who knows the engineering capabilities of the uh, murder castle. I mean, at least that's what makes sense to me. I mean, it's... I don't know. I... I feel like I feel like Grantham is in league with like a previous a previous like kind of benefactor of this place and that it's not just all him. I mean like we kept we've read about this you know Richard Belknap and I, f I feel like he and uh, I feel like Richard Belknap and Grantham Dumet have like been in league. So it's like, that's a theory. <laughs> it's like, we'll see if anything comes of it. Oh, this stairs are completely... <laughs> Demolished. Oh, I can push this around. What am I going to need it for? Get up there? It's like, when in doubt, look up. <laughs> Up we go. Up we go again. There's quite a few bodies in here. See, that's... How many? Six, seven? I count seven. Oh, hello. It is type in. I only ever find O balls in these. Nothing else. Okay, 110 to 120.
Oh, there's another body. Hello. And another one. Another ring? Oh. Pick that up. Pick that back up, Charlie. I thought it was another old ball. Harrison nope. Of Lewis. Oh, there's the other one. I'm surprised I didn't get an update by picking that up. <laughs> oh! Okay, I just dropped right down. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> How about in here? More bodies. Where am I even going? An office. Seems to be like some kind of like factory. I can't hop over this. Oh, I can push this off? Interesting. For what purpose? Wait, what? It's all of a sudden I'm somewhere that I've I haven't seen. Wait. Yeah, there's like a le uh, walkway there. Oh, hello. Tape. All units, this is dispatch. Be on the lookout for a male suspect believed to be the Shoe Shine Killer. Suspect is FBI Special Agent Hector Monday. He may be armed and is highly dangerous. Dispatch, this is Officer Martinez. I found Monday's car, requesting backup. Officer Martinez, what's your location? A warehouse on Park Avenue, Fulton River. Looks abandoned. Officer Martinez, back up on its way. Hold your position. Copy that. Shit! He's seen me! Officer Martinez, hold your position. Oh! Uh, shit! We have a situation. Dispatch, the building's on fire. Fire department on their way. He's still in there. You read me? Copy. He's still in there. APP broadcast an audio file of a police APP APB radio broadcast police suspected that Hector Monday was the Chicago killer after investigation police later confirmed that Hector Monday was the Chicago killer Monday killed the victims while working in Chicago helping to train detectives on profiling huh It's like, using his job to do two things at once. I don't want to go down there yet.
Okay, I'm back in this room. Yeah, I didn't look at I didn't look around on the ground floor in here. Hello? Oh. Hi. Oh, bloody hell. Who is that? Who is that? Step one, fixation. Step two, dissection. Step three, removal of body fat and water. Nice. Uh, step four, impregnation. Impregnation. Uh. <laughs> uh, step five, positioning. And step six, curing. For some reason, this is giving me, like, not only, like, Frankenstein's monster vibes, but also, like, uh, I'm also thinking of, like, the horror movie Reanimator. You know, reanimating the dead. What do we have here? Mr. Lee Harrison, 175, wait, what is that number on here? Let's see, uh, subject dead by asphyxiation, subject washed, freezing not required as formaldehyde solution has been prepared, moved to curing house to commence preservation. Early decomposition has not yet shown an obvious deterioration. Viable specimen for animatronic in integration. I mean, there's that too. Like, using a dead body as a mannequin. Like we saw with, uh, I want to say it, it was Michelle uh, Morello. Formaldehyde fixation solution introduced to subject's cardiovascular system. Fix fixation solution process complete, which took four hours and 30 minutes. Subject added to acetone bath re-examination in 24 hours. No issues found with subject in acetone. No signs of rigidity as of yet. Re-examined in 48 hours. Good progress, signs of rigidity in extremities. Previous subject, Mr. Lewis Harrison, required disposal of in acid bath, rigor mortis reach skin causing severe blistering resulting in unviable specimen, possibly due to subject's smaller stature ex expediting ex 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 expediate? No, it's not expediating. Expediting. Decompose. No, it. Expediating. Doesn't expediate have an A in it? <laughs> Decomposition. Uh, 180 pounds versus 142 pounds. Delay to fixation, commencement, or formaldehyde level est estimate too low. Continued positive progress. Extremities fully hardened, extending into stiffness of limbs. Re-examining in one week. Uh, fifth. Uh, limbs 50% hardened, acetone drained and replaced, re-examined in 24 hours. No issues with new acetone replacement, re-examined in one week.
Oh, a bearing update dated too. Charlie found documentation on how Dumet creates his animatronics. Yeah. For at least a couple of them that we saw. <laughs> I mean, using a dead body and not so much a mannequin. Clipboard. A clipboard found near a chemical bath. It contains notes about the process of preserving Harrison Lee's body. Yeah. Harrison Lee checked into the hotel a few weeks ago and was dead by the following morning. So then... Okay, so... Harrison and Lewis Lee was, was here just a few weeks before us. So is this laying here Harrison? Or Lee? It has to be one of the uh, one of the two of them, right? Man, I am sorry. I am sorry, buddy. Very interesting that. Glad I decided to look around before going down that ladder in that other room. Can't mess with the door, right? Yeah, no. Okay, so down the ladder then. God. Not beam walking. Easy does it, Mark. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. No, no, no. Don't do this to me, game. That- that's a long way. Uh, I feel like... I feel like Charlie's gonna plummet to his death here. Because I'm terrible at ba balancing. Here I go. Ah, no! <laughs> Uh, yeah, no. See what I mean? Yeah. I knew that was going to happen. That one of these beam walks was going to wind up killing one of them. Ugh. <sighs> How far down did she fall? Get away from Dumet, navigate the forest. Isn't this the same area that I was in as Charlie? I believe it is. Oh, no, wait. Or is it different? <laughs> I think it's a little different. Actually, wait a minute. Haven't I been in this area? 
Like earlier in the game? I think I have. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, climb. I thought that was like a... I, I thought that was like a uh, cave. <laughs> because it was like... It looked like an opening. Is that something... For me to look at? Yes, it is. What am I looking at? I'm not sure what I'm looking at. Yeah, I don't know. It's like, what the heck is that? Okay, good. I made it across. <laughs> In first try. Francis oh. Morello. Yeah, the, uh... Joseph's brother, right? Yeah. Date of birth, November 23rd, 1978. From Palmdale, California. Hair black, eyes brown, 5'11. Issued on November 23rd, 2008. So where's his body? Inferno. Disco Inferno? <laughs> Thanks for the day out, Uncle Francis. Driver's license. A driver's license belonged to Francis Morello. Theme park photo. Oh, it's a theme park photo. A theme park ride photo of a man with a young girl. The people in the photo are Francis and Bethany Morello. I couldn't even tell what was, uh, what the picture really was. I, I mean, I could see that there were like two people, but I couldn't tell what they were doing. I can't ex I can't examine the other thing. Actually, the other thing looks like a wallet, but I can't examine it. Well, glad I found those. They could always try to swim to shore. <laughs> swim off the island. I can. What's over that way, though? Sometimes I can be so indecisive. What am I going to find over here? Yep. 
Easy does it, Kate. This looks a little precarious. Easy, easy, easy. A little, uh... Can I actually open the door? Before I do, look... Look around outside first, see if I can find anything. There's a key. Oh. So it is locked. <laughs> see, it always pays to look around first. Okay. Sorry, put that key into me. <laughs> Says the keyhole. Jesus! <gasps> oh, man. Did I just find Francis's body? man's body. The dead body of a man found inside a shed. His right hand has been severed. He appears to have died bleeding from his injury. The dead man was Francis Morello. Bingo. His photo is on his driver's license. Wait. His hand is missing. So, the hand that I found in the pool is his. Isn't that right? God. I feel like I've been doing really well finding the uh, secrets. I mean, like, how many do I have left here? Let's see. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16. I have 16 left. Damn. Well, that's a find. So it's like, Mar so it's like Joe's family was mostly killed off, save for him and his one daughter. What happened to his other daughter? Do I even want to know? Farmhouse. K-O-K -K Leo oil. Cochleo oil? <laughs> That's how I want to say it. Actually. Cochleo Oh, come on. I can't... I can't go through here. I can't see if there's anything in the box. Boxes. Seriously? Whatever. Yeah, this game is definitely longer. Then, then again, I feel like I'm, like, tanking more time in this game than in previous games. I can inspect there. There's a... I wonder if the door might be locked. Uh, no. What's the matter, pup? Oh.
Uh-oh. Um. Still has the axe. I guess you could say he has an axe to He's grind. Boy. <laughs> Would Grantham kill a an animal, a dog? I feel like he would. It's like I saw that broken piece of bottle. No, 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 game, no. What did that do? Kate found the dog in the farmhouse and chose to let it go when hiding from Dumet. What's that gonna do to me? I'm a little worried now. Wow. <laughs> okay. It's like, was a blood splatter? It's like, nice fake out game. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> like, for a second there, I, was, I thought Kate got got. Oh my god. What a fake out. What a fake out. It's just flipping tomato sauce. We have to, at some point, reveal his face. I feel. See what he truly looks like. Oh! She tripped something. It's like, I saw that laser. Now it's just Mark and Kate. Just the two of them left. Am I going to be able to keep them alive? <laughs> Let's get that light on. Turn on the lighthouse, explore the lighthouse. Oh, what, what do we have over here? Oh, oh ball. That's a 125. Actually, wait. Oh, door here, but I can't do anything with it. Um, I'm now actually kind of wondering if the O balls. I mean, I have 125 of them. I wonder if I, w I wonder if the O balls, since there's a skull on them, if that has like if like a certain character picks up so many of them that that seal, like, seals their fate in dying. I kind of wonder that now. Uh, so maybe I shouldn't be p picking them up. I don't know. Yeah, it's like I'm gonna flash you. 
<laughs> it's like Grantham goes. I mean, it's like Grantham goes up to uh, Mark, and he, Mark is just like, "I'm gonna flash you." <laughs> it's like blind him, just blind him. Maybe that will work. And maybe that's something that I will actually have to do. Blind Grantham trying to, in trying to get away. We got a bedroom. What's this? Evidence. Address. Chicago PD. Evidence. A 1612 West State Street. Case number 167G apostrophe D... DIS apostrophe 241070. Evidence number 21. Recovery date July 4 4th of July 1998. At 0, 0600 hours, I, Officer Frank Hooper, discovered that one or multiple individuals had gained unauthorized access to the evidence room at 1612 West State Street. Among the missing items were assets recovered from the apartment of former FBI agent Hector Monday, including books, clothes, notes, surgical tools, and dental equipment. Hmm. We are currently running with the theory that this was the direct result of souvenir hunters looking for a piece of memorabilia from the case. End of report. Looking for souvenirs. Huh. There has to be something on the back of this for me to look to read. Hector Wayland Monday, Leonard Camp, Brandon Day, Benjamin uh, P uh, Pietzel? Or P uh, Pietzel? Cole Rogers, William Baldwin. William Baldwin? <laughs> the actor? <laughs> Charles Leacock, Howard Sigrand, Ned Yoke, Benton T. Lyman, Richard Belknap, there's that name again, and Grantham Dumet. Wait. The one behind it all is Hector Monday. These are all aliases. Oh my god. And Grantham Dumet is his current alias oh my god okay I can go here what do we have here oh hey haven't found a Grantham Dumet card in a really long time this one says artist on it this is my third one yeah, third. Third, uh, three of five. So I have two more left. Can't look inside the armoire. Okay, so I came in through this. Yeah, I came in through this door. Come on, there we go. Hector Waylon Monday. Waylon? Waylon? Waylon. Waylon. Silver Spring University of Science and Medicine. This is to certi certify that Hector Wayland Monday had been awarded the degree of Bachelor of Science in Psychology. Psychology. May 22nd, 1988. How the... How old is he? I have never heard Waylon's pronounced that way. Waylon. 
It's like, hey, Waylon. It's like, I knew a Waylon when I was a kid. Uh, and I have a feeling that he that he would not like it if you had pronounced his name Waylon. <laughs> Two tapes. This again. I'll get them to you. This weekend. Just do it. I guess this was what Aaron was talking about. Yeah. Yeah. I'm certainly grateful to you, Mr. Dumet. I want my team to be dead. This one's more garbled. This is a clever edit. That's not how Charlie speaks. Poor Aaron. She mm. died thinking Charlie set us up. Vindication! Vindication! Ah! <laughs> Complete tape edit! Oh my god. That feels so good. It's like I just had the I had the feeling that it had to be fake. Oh, that feels so good. <laughs> I know I'm gloating a little bit, but oh my god! Thank you, game, for that vindication. I wonder if this I wonder if the same was done with those texts uh between uh Jamie and L I guess Laurel Laurel in quotes <laughs> This is definitely a uh, Mark's time to shine What do we have here? Oh. A, uh... Boat key? Mark found some boat keys. Yeah. Alright, well, that's good. Oh. Uh, uh... Bearing updated. Mark found you met had created false evidence in implicating Charlie in the murders. Just so that Charlie would be suspected of doing it. Wait. With some of the with with some of the uh FBI stuff, the cop stuff that we've been getting I wonder if some of that, uh, I wonder if some of that has been like setting up other people. I wonder. Mark found a list of names including Grantham Dumet. A list of aliases. It has to be. Looks like there may be another boat on the island. Another boat. All right. Uh, oh. Picture on the wall. Mark and Jennifer Edwards. Those those names again. Yeah, th they were they they were the lighthouse proprietors. But they were killed off, weren't they? Closet. 
closet. Nothing on the ground for me to look at? July 7th, 1965. Clarence, I thought I should write you with the news as you haven't been to see me in six months. You have a son. I gave birth a few weeks ago. I need you back here. I can't do this alone. My parents are helping out, but they're both very old now. Come home, Clarence, please. L. Monday. Lucinda Monday. Hector Monday's, uh, mother, Clarence. Okay, so Clarence is the name of Hector Monday's father. Okay, so if that was written in 1965... Hector Monday is fairly old. Something just thump in this armoire. Hello? Ah! Son of a bitch! Give me a dog any day. <laughs> it was just a kitty cat. A scared... A scared cat. A black one, too. Give me a dog any day. How dare you? It's like, I love all animals. I've said that before. It's like... It seemed like the cat was stuck in there. Uh, what's under the cloth? <laughs> it's like, do I want to find out? So I wonder if this is... I wonder if this... Is also where... Uh, with the lighthouse. If this is also where... Um... Hector Monday's parents lived. It's a possibility. I guess I'm going up. What? There we go. It's like mo Mark's moving on up. All right. Turn the time to turn this bad boy on. If it'll turn on. Come. On. Turn it. Okay, I need to power up the controls. So there's a no control panel. No. Panel somewhere here. Okay, so. Can't even go that way. Okay, so I have to shimmy. Shimmy, shimmy. Shimmy, shimmy. Shimmy, shimmy. Dad, the shimmy, shimmy. Look down. Yeah, it's like Don't you can do it. Look down. You can do it, Mark. It's like he's gonna conquer his fear of heights. Acrophobia. That's the fear of heights. Tampering with this seal is a federal offense. Well, I'm not going to tamper with the seal. I'm just going to turn the power on. Oh, God! 
You okay, Mark? Jeez. Shimmy back across. Shimmy, shimmy. Shimmy, shimmy. Shimmy, shimmy. <laughs> now, now I've come up with something new. <laughs> this, this late in the game with shimmy. <laughs> I guess when it's a, more of an open shimmy, it'll be a, it'll be a song, and when it, it's tight quarters, it'll be a, hold it in. <laughs> Ow! Oh, shocking! <laughs> Hark! <laughs> Harky, Harky angels sing. <laughs> uh, Mark turned. Uh, li turned the lighthouse lamp on. That would be an omitto. <laughs> oh, ah. Uh. <laughs> Fuck yes! Woo! <laughs> Somehow it's, it's, it's gonna turn off, though, right? What's beeping? Hey! Oh, Kate! Up here! Kate! Kate. Oh no! Take Mark! Behind you, please. Take it. Please don't tell me that I'm gonna find him dead. Oh, there you are. I wasn't expecting you. Are you early for a change? Moldy food. Wonder what it is, or what it's supposed to be. Recovered January 28th. St. Paul Cemetery, Church Road, Silver Spring, Maryland. January 30th, 1998. Dear Mr. Monday, I am writing to inform you uh, to inform you of an issue with plot R357 uh, P12-4. As the right of internment is in your is in your name. It is my duty to inform you of a recent incident at Burial Plot Burial Plot R357 P12-4. A patch of soil has been disturbed and the headstone was moved from its base. I understand that this is the grave of your late mother, Lucinda Monday. I was wondering. Therefore, I appreciate that that this news may be distressing. Unfortunately, on rare occasions, local wildlife can cause such disturbances, and we suspect that this is the case in this incidence. As a matter of public safety, it is our duty to ensure maintenance of our plots is of a, high, of a very high standard, and we have swiftly corrected the disturbance. There has been no permanent damage. Sincerely, a J. Gray, or Jeffrey Gray, Chief Caretaker. Disturbed grave letter. A letter from cemetery caretaker from a caretaker cemetery. Blah, blah. <laughs> Jeez, I can't talk all of a sudden. A letter from a cemetery caretaker. Lucinda Monday's grave had been disturbed. Returned letter. A letter sent to Hector Monday's father, which was returned. Hector never knew his father. Oh, he didn't. It's like um. <laughs> That's like my dad. He never knew his dad. Lucinda raised Hector as a single parent. It's hard being a single parent, as I've heard. List of aliases. 
There we go. Confirmation. A list of aliases. Degree certificate. A framed degree certificate. Hector Monday has a degree in psychology. Oh, God. Well, I guess that's Lucinda there. Th Wait. Early, early in the game. There was... There was a... There was a moment where we heard an older woman's voice. Was it supposed to be Lucinda? I wonder... Man. The boy who loved scary stories. Monster. Always have been. Hmm. Hey. Hey. Who are you? The boy who loved scary stories, Helen Blake. The lonely boy who the boy the uh, but the but 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 that's all, folks. <laughs> no, it's, the lonely boy loved reading scary stories. Wow, he read scary stories all day and all night. Oh wow. He lived. He lived with his. Interesting. Mother has been put ha, put has been added has been added in r written. Looks like the original word was aunt. He lived with his mother, but she was very strict. Stop reading that book. The boy was sick of being told what to do. It's not fair. The book gave him an idea. Revenge! The boy sneaked through the house. <laughs> he... He jumped and shouted and frightened his mother. <laughs> he loved scary stories. <laughs> I'm having too much fun with the dialogue. <laughs> Huh. Interesting secret. Children's book. A children's book about a child scaring a strict aunt, not mother. <laughs> it appears Dumet was inspired by the book to wear a mask. Oh. Demet decided to integrate a mask into his persona. I mean, you never know who's who's under any one mask, you know. And you know, it it, it just like adheres to like Jason Voorhees, Michael Myers. It's like you don't know what they look like under that mask. Although with Jason, you know, you you see a disfigured face and a lot of times like a, a very dead looking face. <laughs> very a very a dead alive kind of looking face, you could say. Makes me kind of wonder what uh, Dumet looks like. I wonder if we're going to find out. 
Jesus! <laughs> Always right to your favorite page. Predictable little shit. I know you. Okay, so th this is why he recorded his mother's voice. So he, so he could have her as as an animatronic saying this saying these words through a speaker very twisted and honestly quite perverse do i have a locked room here so i think i'll actually stop it here for now so i'll uh have kate uh Possibly go through this door next time. <laughs> uh, although it kind of looks like it's uh, like deadbolted. So I'm, maybe I'll be able to go through the door. Maybe not. May have to find something to unlock it. Haven't come across anything. But you now it's... Well, I'll figure it out next time. <laughs> but, oh man. Some... Uh, Revelations this this uh, go around. I was right in thinking that uh, you know that name, uh, Brandon Day, was some kind of like a, s a serial killer. I mean, it is a serial killer. It's it's Grantham, and the and of course the fact that. I found that list of names. It's like means that Grantham Dumet is not his real name, as I can as I figured. But with the theories that I've come up with, I I feel like I've done a good job, like guessing some of the twists. Then again, you know, as <laughs> as someone who reads a lot and is a writer, you know, I just kind of have that kind of mind. <laughs> it's like, I, it's, it's, it's easy for me, kind of easy for me to like, think of what the twists would be before the end of a, uh, it, uh, before the end of a story. And, you know, with, and that's one of the reasons why I really like mysteries, you know, because of my like theory crafting and uh, my kind of analytical nature with stories. It's it it's just it makes it more fun for me, <laughs> if I'm being honest. I mean, like. Like that tape with Charlie's voice on it. It's like <laughs> hearing that, I I just kind of had to... I'm glad I questioned it and just didn't take it at face value. And, you know, same thing with uh, the uh, cell phone. So... Of course, we haven't gotten any confirmation on that, but I'm glad I got confirmation on, you know, Charlie's voice being faked. It's like a, a very, very good edit, but fake. Oh. It's like, I, I feel, I'm, I'm still kind of on a high with that... Uh, <laughs> Well, with with that vindication, and I I I do have to say that I I am kind of bummed that I got Charlie killed. I mean, of everything with going through this game, I just absolutely knew that the beam walking would. 100% bite me in the ass later on in the game, and it did. With a dire repercussion. 
I think one of the reasons why I have trouble with beam walking is because I I don't know which way to like move the analog stick to balance correctly. It's like and not to mention it's like the like I I don't know if it's like something in the settings or not. I wonder if the control for that is like inverted or not. I'm not entirely sure. I may have to look in settings. But I'm guessing I'm guessing it's not inverted. Because if it is inverted, that that makes that would make it even more difficult for me. So I, I would have to put it uh, the other way if it is a setting. I almost forgot. The so this game is definitely longer. Is definitely longer. If I mean it feels longer. I feel like the um exploration in this is more uh I feel like there's more much more exploration in this than in the previous games. I mean, it, it, am I right in thinking about that correctly? <laughs> I mean, it feels that way. So it's like w this game is definitely taking me longer. I mean, this is the fifth episode. I'm usually done with a series with one of these games at this point. <laughs> <laughs> but not this time not this time so so with that I hope you guys all enjoyed watching and thank you all for watching as well and if you enjoyed the video and want to see more like favorite and claw that subscribe button to become part of the pack and as always everyone I hope you all have a wonderful day or night wherever you may be